Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be talking about five reasons why you would pick Phantom 4 over Mavic Pro. Now, before I get started, I know I'm going to get a lot of haters who has a Mavic Pro, but also a lot of people who like me because they have Phantom 4. Okay? Before I get started, I just want to tell you uh, it depends on where you're coming from. For example, if you are a video blogger, I would definitely go with the Mavic Pro because of portability and convenience, right? But if you're a, a starting out aspiring short filmmaker like myself, I would recommend P4 or P4 Pro. I have both actually. Now, I'm going to give you a reason why I would continue on to use my P4 if I'm a short filmmaker, right? Over say uh, Mavic Pro. So again, let me go through the five reason why I'm going uh, to use my Phantom Pro or Phantom 4 as um, my, uh, I guess, for my filming aerial view versus a, a Mavic uh, Pro. So number five, let's start with number five. It doesn't have to be in any order, but let's start with number five first. Okay, durability. Phantom 4 is definitely more durable than uh, Mavic Pro. Now, if you look at the spec, uh, and you can check online as well, um, there's been reporting that the foldable Mavic Pro has a life expectancy. In other words, you can only fold, unfold this, um, what it arms, this stiff arm, you know, you pull it out, you like that. Um, I believe it's only 5,000 times cycles. Check that out, okay? I'm not, I'm not just saying in, uh, just to you about this, but you can check the website and you can uh, look at your manual if you have Mavic Pro. There is actually a like you know when you open up that um, that uh, that arm, there's only five thousand times you could do that before there's a chance that it might break. Okay, neither the cable inside or the plastic, whatever it is, those it only tested. They say about an average of five thousand times. So that's not very good, especially if you want to use it for a long, long time, right? Okay, so P4 is is more durable. It's actually built, uh, you know, fixed. Uh, arm is fixed. Okay, so that's number five. Number four, very important. Just just like uh, P4 Pro and Mavic uh, Pro, the problem with these two is that it doesn't have a good autofocus. In other words, um, you have to tap to focus, or if you think it's autofocus, you still have to do some tap focus to make sure your uh, your uh, filming, right, your images or your video is in focus. With the P4, you don't have to worry about that. It's always in focus. It has a fixed lens of f2.8, right? Wide, uh, I think angle, I don't know. I think it's 20 or 24 millimeter lens, right? So it's always in focus, which is great. So uh, autofocus is always on for P4. Whereas Mavic Pro and P4 Pro, not really. Okay, so you got to worry about that shot. Now, there's an advantage, disadvantage of that. With the P4 Pro, for example, you can adjust uh, manually the uh, aperture, the um, the shutter speed, and so on, right? So a little more flexibility in that case. If you want more artistic look to your uh, aerial view, or you want it specifically for a certain um, image that you want to focus on, so that might be good. But if you like, just want to fly up in the air and you want to take a aerial view and always on in focus take the P4 it you always guaranteed to have a auto focus image okay so that's number 4 number 3 ah number 3 because i have a P4 Pro Phantom 4 Pro it's better i actually have P4 because you see i have a P4 with an extra battery that's two batteries and guess what the two batteries is actually compatible compatible with my Phantom 4 Pro, so now I have a three battery system. So it's actually in a backup for my Phantom 4 Pro. So like I said, for a short filmmaker, that's a dream, right? Having extra batteries, uh, you know, when you're filming and you're running out, you always use a Phantom 4 as your backup. And again, remember I mentioned that Phantom 4 is a uh, autofocus always. So that's another good feature to have, you know, if you're buying uh, Phantom 4 Pro, it's always good to have Phantom 4. Uh, Phantom 4. That's why I have both instead of Mavic. Okay, so uh, having, you know, using the same battery, the P4 as P4 Pro, if you decide to go into more professional filmmaking, P4 Pro is great to have. 
And so, uh, you know, transitioning from P4 to P4 Pro, you don't have to wor worry about buying extra battery because your P4 is compatible with the battery, is compatible with P4 Pro, as well as the propeller. The propeller, you know, is not that is not that cheap. It's actually, you know, you buy a pair, it costs you about 20 bucks, you buy two, that's about, you know, I think about almost 30, 40 dollars. So, um, you know, the if you have, uh, you know, a spare from your P4, you know, there we go, you save a couple buck there, okay? Uh, as well as the charger, I believe as well, because it's the same battery, you can also use the same charger to charge your P4 Pro in case the uh, P4 Pro charger breaks down. Okay, so it's like it's like a, it's a backward compatible in terms of its accessories. That's great. Okay, number two, P4 is now so cheap. It used to be as more expensive than a Mavic Pro, but if you look at aftermarket uh, price. P4 is actually cheaper and it comes with an extra battery. Have a look at Craigslist or uh, Kijiji you'll find out that P4 uh, Phantom 4 is actually quite affordable now, even cheaper than Mavic Pro, okay? And the number one reason, which again is not in any order, uh, why you wanna get uh, P4 over Mavic Pro. Now, if you look at, um, um, what's it called, slow motion filming, the uh, P4, can film 1080p at 120 frames per second, and Mavic Pro is only 96 frames per second, okay, for full frame. That's not you know, a major thing for those who uh, don't care so much about slow motion, but you know, for those who do, like, like so that's why I said P4 is meant for short film makers, so they have access to 1080p, 120 frames per second. That's awesome, isn't it? And, uh, and by, by the way, I find that um, P4 Pro, which I have, can be used as a like a camera, okay? Because if I hold it on its leg and walk around, the gimbal is quite steady. It can be used as my B or C camera. Because I already have Sony A7S II, and now I just purchased, oh, by the way, I just purchased an uh, Sony A6500. A yeah, so as my B camera. Now I also have a C camera like the uh, Phantom 4 Pro. Okay, so next week, so that was the five reason why you would want to pick uh, P4. Next week, I'll be talking about Yep, I'll be reviewing quickly the Sony uh, 6500 camera. Awesome camera, at least from the point of view for videography. Alright, we'll talk to you later. Educate2.com